So in a tense and conservative farming uh, territory in uh, the isolated free state lives a teenager named Yano, who is different, secretive, and emotionally frail when his fiercely religious mother brings home Peter, a hardened street orphan. She wants to save the two boys, start a fight for power, heritage, and parental love. Let's take a look. <laughs> Yes, I'm right, yes, sir. It's a sick thing. No, the only thing is that the community that you omgee and is a sick thing. He's not my brother. He's not my brother. Yes, The Harvesters opens nationwide this Friday, and right now we are joined by the film's cast members, Monet Fissa and Alex van Dijk, along with director and writer Etienne Carlos to share more with us about this brooding, <laughs> intense... <laughs> you guys can't be chuckling away in the, in the background after seeing that. Um, guys, welcome to it. Congratulations. I always feel the need to congratulate collaborators when you create a film like this and it looks amazing just visually it looks absolutely beautiful um maybe i can start with you etienne how do you feel when you see something like this now after the journey it must be an odyssey getting to this point how does it make you feel to go back in there and see even just a glimpse of it yeah well it was my first feature film to make so it's um, it's still pretty unreal i'm just trying to focus on moving on to the next one and uh but it's great. I mean, look at him now, Alex. Uh, when, when Alex was <laughs> acting, I, when I met him, when we auditioned him, he was 13. He would just turn 14 when we were shooting, and now he's a young man of 16. So it's, uh, yeah, it's kind a of man. unreal. You're a man now. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> You're a man. Yeah, look, look what he grew up into there. Yeah. Um, it's, it's intense. It looks really, really intense. And I, I would imagine you've got to kind of create a bubble around that. Monet, how, how does that make you feel going back into there? You look like you're about to burst out crying, man, going back. I'm sorry to drag <laughs> yeah, you back into that um, space. Um, yeah, but set yeah. the scene for us. What, 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 what is this movie about on an emotional level from one of the guys who had to live through it? Um, it is really about um, when you, we were filming in the free state and we were filming in very remote areas and um, you actually start feeling that isolation and loneliness um, I think it's quite glamorized you know the farming community and farming life but when you're actually in that environment you do start feeling that sense of isolation and loneliness and um, almost not being relevant the only thing you're relevant to are the few people yeah. around you and your environment and and and, and that helped a lot and um, seeing that we also filmed it in winter so it was really cold you just get that sense of what, you know, what what Africa, what uh, you know, our, our 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 territory, our environment, what it's like to live in. So um, seeing that, it's nice to be here and being nice and warm. And, <laughs> yeah, and comfy you know, on your comfy couch. Comfy on the couch. Uh, but this this setting, and I mean, the, the narrative sounds amazing. But um, Alex, this having this kind of canvas to paint on when you've got to go into a deep emotional, there's no way to hide. Um, you've got to kind of lay it all out there. Obviously, you worked alongside um, Brent Vermeulen as, as your co-star. How important was that, that chemistry? What was that like going into that kind of that brotherly situation, being thrust into that? Um, yeah, because it was all about chemistry as well. Because me and Brent, we knew each other since like primary school because oh, we wow. were together at school. And then we had like a little reunion when we did the castings. And yeah. Etienne also saw that we knew each other. And then he also kind of clicked like... Yeah, they have chemistry, so they can. We're like, we were more comfortable with each other, if I can put it that way. So we didn't like struggle to do uh, intense scenes or anything like that. So yeah, that's where the chemistry really helped us. What was the most intense part of this whole experience for you? Because you literally were growing up on on set. Not that anyone needs to be growing up on a set. Yeah. I don't know if that's <laughs> the right place to do. But what was the the most difficult part of this process for you? Uh, I would definitely say to to get into the character. Like, I'm not a street child or like anything at all, because I actually got, I was privileged, so I grew up like in a proper house and everything. So it was kind of difficult getting into the role of Peter, because he was streetwise, he didn't have a home, he needed to learn to survive and do awful things to survive. So I guess like getting into him and turning into the character to play the character 
was the most difficult part for me, but eventually I got there. Um, Etienne, I'm going to ask you very quickly, why must people watch this film? What, what, what's the, the most important thread for you, do you think? Well, I mean, this film is, firstly, it's exploring family, a lot of universal and relatable issues like uh, family and coming of age and growing up from the, from the point of view of teenagers, but it's also completely specific to um, Africana culture and to the free state. It's born out of my love for the, you know, the free state landscape. For the land yeah. um, and heritage. I absolutely love it, guys. Thank you so much. It does look brooding and dark and intense, um, but it looks absolutely beautiful. So, congratulations. Thank you. Um, and all the best of luck. Good luck with the next project, man. Thank um, you, we cannot wait to see it, but first, we've got to sink our teeth into this um, an in depth and thought provoking drama. Um, the Harvesters finally hits our local streams this uh, Friday, the 15th of March, in select cinemas, uh, cinemas nationwide. So, make sure you go and support South African filmmakers especially when it looks this good.